on my life lessons. This is video number five, I think now. And today I want to talk about being patient with your kids. It is easy to lose your temper. It's the easiest thing in the world to, to lose your temper when it comes to kids. They are only kids. They are only little for a short time. You got to enjoy it. What does that mean? There was a story that happened a little bit earlier this year. I remember it vividly. I don't remember when it happened, but there was a guy, I believe he had his son with him in Walmart or Target or one of the stores. And I think he's a toddler, five, no more than six. But apparently, I think how the story goes that uh, the kid could not make it to the bathroom and he did number two on himself, boo-booed on himself. Yes, that is something that would upset anybody. And maybe it's not the first time. I mean, five, six, he should know better. I totally get it. But the way this guy was berating this kid, yelling at him, just going off, screaming at him, cursing him, it just wasn't right, man. It just wasn't right. There's a way... Well, first of all, there's probably a reason why that kid did that, right? And that's more important than yelling and trying to instill fear. There's a time for that, and there's a time for trying to understand what is the cause, what is the root, what what do I need to do to fix this behavior? Did he have an upset stomach? Yes, it's a big inconvenience. It's probably embarrassing. It's all those things. This is your kid. This is your baby. This is not some random guy off the street that is trying to hurt you. The words that were used were just unbelievable. I think about the calls I got home from my son's school about his behavior in the beginning of the year and how I wanted to address and deal with that. I do not pretend like I have all the answers. But I like to get as much information as I can before I react on things, right? And so even though I made sure to correct him and tell him this is not acceptable, it was important for me to go to the school and get a a better viewpoint of what is going on in the classroom. Well, not just him, the other kids too. And what the what I noticed was that the stuff that my son was kind of getting in trouble for and doing was the same things <laughs> the other boys were doing too. Age appropriate stuff, right? So it's just a matter of just understanding, hey, this is school time, these are the boundaries, these are the rules. And reiterating that with that to him and making sure he knows what's right and wrong. But if they have no starting point or they in a new environment and the stimulus is high, you got you, you, you to gotta know your kid. Maybe some kids need a little bit more grace, a little bit more uh, <laughs> motivation, reinforcement, whatever it is. But knowing your kid is far more important than just trying to solve everything with anger and just rage and unfiltered, unchecked emotion. Right. It goes back to remaining calm. Remaining calm is a superpower. You got to remain calm with your kid because what dad doesn't want their kid to look at them like a superhero. You're your kid's superhero, man. So that should be one of the first powers that you show them how calm you are. That's my thoughts on it. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm rambling a little bit. Having my favorite little nighttime snack just want to share that man hopefully that resonates with somebody if you got comments and thoughts on that topic please chime in i'm gonna get through these life lessons then i might get to some more salacious topics there's been a lot of stuff coming out in uh, pop culture that i want to kind of react to from a dad's perspective and maybe i can find a way to integrate that into the vlogs or into some cinematic type videos that would be a lot of fun Till the next time, man, I'm PJD. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I love you. And we'll be back again real soon. We got a lot of these I wrote down we got to get to. All right? Peace.